Hey everybody, Kevin Smith back with more Tesla Vision Model Y. Today we test the new driver monitoring features of Tesla. The change log in recently delivered Model 3s and Model Ys shows that the internal camera will be used for driver attentiveness monitoring and alerts. The change log also states that all camera data will remain local unless you specifically enable it in your data sharing settings. What data, you ask? Well, the camera can see the inside of the cabin uh, from an overview, and that data is streamed to the neural networks, which monitors for detections. Thanks to Green the Only on Twitter, we have a list of what detections they're looking for. Let's cover kind of what kind of testing we'll be doing today. We're gonna to go over each of these detections. We'll do it on a private road, not a public road. Uh, we have about a quarter mile test area that we go through for autopilot, and we'll be doing both directions three times. For each detection, the first three tests will be westbound. There'll be more sun in the face, and it will be the outside of the curve, so it's not as sharp. For the next three, it will be the eastbound. There'll be more shadows, and it's the inside of the curve, which is sharper and is more likely to trigger an event. Let's get started and test these detections. First up, eyes ahead. No triggers in either direction. This is expected, it's our control case. Now we close our eyes and you'll see this is where that curve comes into play. The car doesn't mind too much when it's not certain our eyes are closed, but when it sees a curve, a sharp curve, it knows the risk is higher, so it'll take a less certain result. For our eyes down, I tried to keep my head straight, but look down either in my lap or towards the center console. The results were similar to closing your eyes. For eyes up, similarly, I tried to keep my head straight while looking upwards. Uh, no detections were generated in either direction. Now we have a detection they're very confident in and they aren't playing around both directions triggered in every instance. Uh, looking left doesn't seem to have much impact in either direction. Looking right is very similar to looking left, no impact. This would be our sunglasses control case and no events. Here they're checking for eyes down. I'm keeping my head straight and looking downward uh, the best I can with my eyes. Uh, this is gonna be a hard detection, but no events. On the phone testing, I was surprised it didn't trigger on any of the ones coming down westbound. Uh, once we turned around and went eastbound, as soon as you hit the sharp curve, they all triggered. And I went ahead and tried to double trigger one of them successfully. Mm -hmm. 
head truncation was a little bit of a challenge without seeing their video signal. I'm not real sure if it's truncated or not. I scooted the seat all the way forward and tried the best I could. Uh, no events were triggered. For the blinded camera, um, you can see I just covered the camera up and ran through some tests. Uh, no matter what I did, nothing triggered uh, during the blinding period. On our test road, the darkness was completely untestable. No events were generated no matter what you did. Uh, there's nothing visible. Other areas may have better lighting. The new Model S Plaid has infrared light emitters, but the Model Y doesn't. Well, that wraps up all the different detections that we needed to test today. As you can see, some are more confident than others, and when they're real confident, they'll flag them anytime. And when they're not real confident, they'll wait until a pressing situation comes up. This could be a sharp curve, a pedestrian, other vehicles, lane lines not being marked very clearly, uh, a complicated intersection. Anything of that nature would escalate their uncertainty. And whenever that happens, they're more likely to trigger a event. So we'll see how that improves over time as they improve these detections and possibly add any additional ones.